basic switch and end device configuration. This topology. Twenty nine sixty switch. S2 PC PCA dash A PCB Now PCA to facet 6 use a straight through cable facet net to facet net 6 and from PCB, Fast Ethernet to Fast Ethernet 18. And between the switches, you can use a crossover cable or straight through any. I will use a straight through. Fast Ethernet 1 to Fast Ethernet 1. This is the addressing table. Power on the devices. The switches do not have a power switch. They will power on as soon as you push in the power cord. Okay. Uh, switches do not have a power switch. Connect the two switches. Okay. Facet the net one connected to facet the net one on the other side. Okay. Lights uh, green. indicates that the switches have been connected correctly. Connect PCs. Uh, green. So, indicating the PCI has been connected correctly. Also, PCB. Configure PC host static IP addresses on PCs. Okay, use the addressing table PCA and PCB. PCA desktop IP configuration 1.10 1 subnet mask. 24, 255, 255, 255, 0. No default gateway, no DNS. PCB 11, 1.11, and this subnet mask. Then verify PC settings and connectivity. Okay, for example, on PCA, IP config, the IP address and subnet mask, or IP config all space the, uh, slash all IP address and subnet mask, same way on uh, PCB, IP config space slash all 11. Uh, Ping from PCA to PCB. The IP address of PCB is 11, that one that 11. Okay, success. Packet sent for, receive it for, lost zero. 
reply from 11 very nice configure and verify basic switch settings console into the switch okay uh, use the console cable to connect from PCI RS2 3D2 port to S1 uh, console and port go to PCA and enter to terminal bits per second 9600 data bits 8 parity none stop bits 1 flow control none okay this is the switch enter enter global configuration mode okay uh, before that use the enable command to access privilege exit mode now you can see this and uh, now enter global configuration mode with the configure terminal command give the switch a name according to the addressing table the switch is S1 host name S1 okay now you can see the host name here S1 prevent unwanted DNS lookups to prevent the switch from attempting to translate incorrectly entered commands Disable the domain name system DNS lookup. Now IP domain lookup. Enter local passwords class as the privilege access password and Cisco as the password for console access. Okay. Enable secret class. Okay, this is the password class for the enable command enter uh, enter to line console zero there is only one line and set the password cisco and log in to enable the the password and you can see you are on line configuration mode so you can exit from from line configuration mode to global configuration mode configure and enable the switch virtual interface according to the addressing table Okay, use this 192.168.11 with this subnet mask on interface on interface VLAN 1 interface VLAN 1 IP address 192.168.11 and subnet mask 24 or 255, 255, 255, 0 Okay, but this interface uh, should be enabled no shut down okay interface VLAN 1 change state to up line protocol on interface VLAN 1 change state to up enter a login message of the day banner to warn about unauthorized access now as the message of the day banner should be configured to warn anyone accessing the switch that unauthorized access will not be tolerated okay for example um, when you enter interface belong one you access to the interface configuration mode so you can enter the you can configure the banner here not problem but i prefer to exit from 
interface configuration mode with the exit command and now you are on global configuration mode then uh, set the banner banner message of the day uh, you can use this for example these characters uh, the banner message of the day command requires the use of delimiters to identify the command the content of the banner message the delimiting character can be any character as long as it does not occur in the message for this reason symbols are often used okay here the message for example uh, on uh, on out so rise uh, access is strictly prohibited okay this is the command enter this is the message the delimiters here and here now save the configuration go to privilege exit mode exit uh, when you are on privilege exit mode use the following command copy running config startup config use the copy command to save the running configuration to the startup file on no volatile random access memory mb ram okay from the ram to the mb ram from the running config to the startup config enter enter to confirm okay this display the current configuration the current configuration is placed on the running config so you can show the running config show running config okay look at this and uh, the host name the enable secret uh, this is class password but is in, uh, encrypted might be the main lookup the interfaces uh, the interface VLAN 1 with IP address and subnet mask, the banner, the password for line console, then login. Okay, I will repeat the command show running config, and you can see more here and press the, the space bar to advance paging. Space, 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 space spacebar now display the ios version and other useful switch information okay show version for to show that okay um, this is the version for the bootloader but the version for the image uh, is not present on packet tracer but i can i can show uh, flash contents so this is my ios image and the version is 12.2 and on show version command the version is is here 12.2 okay for the switch for the 29 switch Display the status of the connected interfaces. Use uh, on privilege exit mode. Use the following command: show IP interface brief. And you can see all interfaces, including the switch virtual interface, VLAN one. Configure switch two. 
Okay, repeat all with for switch to console into the switch from RS232 port on the PC to the console port on the switch. Go to PCB and terminal. Okay, this is switch 2. Enter. Enable to access the. This is the user access mode. Enable to access the privilege exit mode. Enter the global configuration mode with the configure terminal command. Now you are on global configuration mode. Set the host name, host name as two. Prevent unwanted DNS lookups. No IP to make lookup. You can use dash or space. Any of the uh, any of those options. The passwords. Uh, enable secret class. This is the password for the enable command and for the line console zero password is Cisco line console zero password Cisco login login to enable this password and Configure the switch virtual interface, okay. Exit, okay. To exit from line configuration mode to the global configuration mode. Uh, the IP address on VLAN 1 is 1.2. Interface, VLAN 1. IP address 192.168.1.2, subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Enable the interface with the no shutdown command and the banner. Okay. Exit from interface configuration mode and Banner message of the day. Use any character like this and uh, unauthorized un access is prohibited. Enter. Save the configurations. Okay. Exit from global configuration mode. Exit. And now you are on privilege exit mode and copy from RAM that is the running config to MVRAM that is startup config. Enter, enter. Display the current configuration on privilege exit mode. Show running config. Space, uh, space bar, space bar, the interface, banner, password on console. Display the iOS version, show version 12.2. Of the connected interfaces show IP interface brief. Okay, remember the show commands are are placed on privilege exit mode. Enter. Now you can see all all interfaces and switch virtual interface. Okay, record the interface status for the following interfaces. Okay, this is uh, switch to 
and look at this uh, VLAN one up up okay status up uh, protocol up okay on switch two first Ethernet one up and up okay this is the connection to another switch um, the connection to PC first Ethernet 18 status up protocol up another port like first Ethernet 6 status down protocol down go to S1 uh, from PCA this console Okay, the connection to PC, fast Ethernet 6, status up, protocol up. The connection to the another switch, status up, protocol up. Switch virtual interface, up, up. With fast Ethernet 18, that is not connected, status down, protocol down. From PCC, ping S1 and S2. Okay. Uh, uh, no PCC, but I will use uh, PCA to ping S1 and S2. Uh, this is the terminal the connected to the console of S1. Close this, go to command prompt. Okay, this is PCA IP config to verify 1.10, but Ping to switch S1 that is 1.1. One that one. Success. Also, switch to that is 1.2. One okay, the ping from PCA to S1, success. PCA to S2 success. Finally, from PCA ping PCB. PCB is uh, I close this. That is the console to switch to command prompt IP config and this 1.11. Go to PCA and one, ping to 1.11 success why some fast ethernet ports on the switches are up and others are down the fast ethernet ports are up when cables are connected to the ports unless they were manually shut down by the administrator otherwise the ports would be down what could prevent a ping from being sent between the PCs? Wrong IP address, media disconnected, switch powered off or ports administratively down or firewall on the PC. Okay, remember on real app, disable the firewall on Windows PCs to permit the ping. Thank you.